And a good day, everybody. John Henderson, Pierre, the Beverage Ramble, back again with you. Today, we're looking at Magnum Malt Liquor. Yes, I have been wanting to do this review. Uh, interesting story about this beer. Um, first time I got it was back in 2016, 2017, 2016. Um, Brendan Bro uh, Broyle had, had bought it and gave it to me. I paid him, um, you know. He was uh, during one of his job or coaching, whatever things. He's just one of his. Uh, anyway, he was coming back from an assignment up in uh, Baton Rouge, Louisiana. And uh, he bought it and on his way decided to buy, buy and drop it off to me. And uh, he, I think he was making his way through Mobile and into Mississippi where he lives. I think he lives right outside of Mouse Point or Pascagoula, Mississippi. And um, bought the bottle. Um, and... Um, I went ahead and uh, bought it from him, and that Wednesday we were going to do a review of one of our Wednesday night sessions, get together back again, 2015, 2016. Unfortunately, that did not end up happening. Um, some technical issues with the laptop and a bunch of other stuff, and uh, then end up drinking the whole thing. So that was my first time having Magnum. So this is my second time having Magnum malt liquor. So uh, special thanks to my good buddy Ronald Terrio, Jay Terrio, of course, Louisiana Beer Reviews. His buddy Dave, now my friend Dave, uh, uh, Garlton, and um, we had, um, yeah, so he bought the uh, bottle for me, and um, thank you, Jay, for, for it. Um, this brand is 5.9% ABV, Magnum Malt Liquor, um, part of the Miller brand. This is one of the legendary historic Interesting beers has been around. Magnum Premium. I've had this in the freezer since uh, the other day, and I took it out, put it in the um, refrigerator, and let it stay there for a little while. So this is what the beer looks like. Um, unfortunately, because this beer is not sold here um, in Alabama, not even on the from the southern tip of the state to the lower part, nowhere. So. If I was in Georgia, I'm sure I could probably get this in Georgia, but in Louisiana, it's everywhere. Uh, certain parts of Louisiana can get it. Uh, New Orleans or in the outskirts of New Orleans. Um, and Baton Rouge, of course. Um, uh, Shreveport, I think it does have it. My sister in law is in Shreveport, so I I'm, will be visiting her maybe this year, maybe sometime next year, I guess, hopefully be able to get to go see her visit her. So, you know, here's what the bridge looks like. Very crisp, very little head. You can see up top. Let me close this off. Of course, Miller has, of course, Miller's has always been very open. Um, Magnum, I believe, was in uh, part of the line of, of, of malt liquors that were bought out that Miller had bought, I think, either part of the Schliss line or Stroh's line that they bought and put on it to their staple, um, onto their portfolio. Of course, Mickey's is another one. You have Steel is also on the um, part of the Miller brand. And Miller, uh, are, have, have always never, have not been shy about promoting their malt liquors. You know, they just say, hey, this is what we have, we make, and this is it. Take or leave it, folks. So, um, it's a nice plastic size bottle. It's in plastic as well. So, outside of Mickey's, which is in glass, um, everything else, uh, the malt liquor line, steel is, I believe, is is in plastic. This one, um, yeah, I think that's it. Um, Magnus, I don't see them in cans, but hold on. It has a sort of very hop note, grass note to this that's kind of very interesting. Smells really nice. It's a very hot note. Sort of a very not pungent, but definitely some corn and almost almost like some. 
or corn chips or something, a little smell I'm getting. Don't get much sugar smell in this or a syrupy smell, but oh well. refreshing um, not as I mean it really makes a difference when you put these in you know in the refrigerator I mean in the freezer folks I mean really I mean it's, it's a huge it really makes a difference to the beer it really does I mean when you when you freeze it for a certain temperature and take out and leave it and let it kind of sit for a while Last one is really at its, at its peak performance. I mean, you don't want to drink warm beer, but I'm just saying. When it's really cold, these extra strong beers, I mean, it really, out of the freezer instead of, you know, in the refrigerator and taking it out and serving it, you can tell there's a there's, there's a big difference. Like I said, had in the freezer, it, it's some chunks or a little bit in there of ice and whatnot, but I took it out, let it put it, let it sat in the table for a little bit for about, a, f a brief 10 minutes, less than 6 or 5 minutes at best, then put it in the refrigerator. And, um, man, I can say, man, this is really a, an enjoyable, enjoyable lot I'm drinking right now. Um, we know the history of malt liquors going back to the 1950s, you know, you know trying to weave their way through different you know, insane, crazy alcohol laws that were presented during that time. Um... We know the history of the brands of people wanting stronger beers. Um, that beers can't be over 4.7 beers. They could have beers sold over 4.7%, 4.5%, which were about the common range. Still is to this day. Um, Country Club, Schlitz uh, were probably the more well-known at the time that came out back in the 50s. Um, in the 60s, of course, Colt 45, it came out as well. Um, and by then, marketing had changed to make it more available to the minority communities. Um, other brands came out as well. Uh, Magnum, of course, was one. Um, again, beers that with higher alcohol content, and and they kind of stripped the recipe down with more alcohol content, sugar, corn, Hops, malts, barley malts, and hops. Sometimes one is taken out than the other, or maybe one is replaced in the other with rice, possibly. So, and of course, people complain at times that when these beers are sold, they're cheap and they're kind of sold to sort of a, a lower tier of society um, who they're marketing, which I tend to, you know, take issue with that because um, anyone can drink this. No matter what your social economic status is, you know, if you're wealthy, you know, middle class, poor, now it basically says the has and the have nots, you know, well to do, the lower class, you know, whichever. But yeah, so um, you got to give, you got to give this brewery a lot, give um, Miller a lot of credit. I mean, the recipe. The ingredients, the flavor, just a sort of a very good hot note present to this. Um, this is as, as good as it gets. Um, for the style, I'm, I'm going to go all the way in A on this one. Um, this is just a, a good, good beer. You know, when you, and it's interesting, as I mentioned, the name. When you see the name, you know, Magnum, you know, they always have these bold names with these, these extra strong beers, you know, Steel, Mickey. And it's always in bold letters or, you know, italicized or, or they're bold, you know, not italicized, but they're kind of bold letters and numbering, you know, kind of show its, its strength and its power. Steel, Bull, um, Country Club, uh, you know, Colt 45 and all that, Magnum. Um, so, yeah, so thanks to my good buddy, Mr. Ter Mr. T, Mr. Terrio. This is... Um, I'm glad I got this. Like I said, um, I've already put a dent in it earlier this morning. Uh, this is my first pour, 
And um, I mean, food pairs with this, you can go with, like I said, pizza. You can go with a shrimp poor boy with this. Um, what I had yesterday, some Asian food uh, uh, the other day. Uh, excuse me, not Asian. Uh, Thai food the other day. Um, I was uh, with them hanging out uh, for my birthday. You know, we stopped at a, a Vietnamese restaurant. And, you know, this would have, uh, we had a great meal. I had some pork and some rice and some chicken. Pork, rice, a salad. A very, you know, healthy, very nutritious, <laughs> yummy uh, <laughs> uh, lunch. Uh, and... This would have gone good with it, you know. I, I'm I'm a cheap SOB, you know. You know, uh, this uh, this beer would have gone great with this meal. So any Asian cuisine, you know, spicy foods, uh, Magnum will go good with this. So uh, I'm going on a little longer than I need to. So for the style, I'm gonna go with an A, Magnum Premium Malt Liquor. Well done by Miller Brewing Company. So if you see it, try it, get it, pick it up. John Henderson Pierre of the Beverage Ramble team. Keep on watching as always. Cheers. Live, laugh, and love. Magnum, Magnum. I'm going to get you, get you, get you, get you. Magnum.